The Hitmonkey animated series is arriving on Hulu on November 17th, and we thought what a better way to prepare for what looks like will be a hilarious and action packed show than by celebrating this awesome and ridiculous Marvel character and helping you to get to know him a bit better. Welcome back Nerd Squad, this is Top 10 Nerd and I am your host Amanda McKnight. Join me and get to know one of the most deadly and kinda sweet monkeys of all time as we count down the Top 10 Hitmonkey facts you need to know. Let's get into it. Number 10 Outcast Who is Hitmonkey? Monkey, really? Well, he's a monkey who's an assassin. Yep, it's really that simple. But how did he become an assassin? Well, that happened as a result of him becoming what he hated the most, really. He was part of a tribe of monkeys who took in a wounded assassin who stumbled kind of into their home. They nursed the assassin back to health, but Hip Monkey, who then was, you know, just known as a nameless monkey, disagreed with this decision. He studied the assassin as he practiced and built back his strength and ended up adopting his sense of violence to try and basically fight back against the other monkeys whom he disagreed with because he wanted to protect them really. As a result, he was banished from his tribe because they were like, we don't like your violent ways. No, 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 no monkey, get out. Number 9. The Assassin The assassin we see in the trailer who uses snowmen for target practice, that's the assassin who came to his tribe and who Hitmonkey studied and was kicked out for emulating. In the comics, the assassin is never given a name but has some kind of spiritual connection to Hitmonkey and after he dies has unfinished business to carry out with Hitmonkey as his aide. Just like in his origin story from the comics, the assassin in the trailer warns Hitmonkey about following in his footsteps and after his death returns in spirit form to guide Hitmonkey. And friends, before we move on to this next spot, if you are loving this list and you want to learn even more about Hitmonkey as the show goes on, be sure to show your love and show your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Number 8. Vengeance what turned him into a hitman? Well, the missing part of the origin here is that after Hitmonkey was thrown out and exiled by his tribe, he actually learns while wandering alone that there are men who have come to retrieve the assassin, hunting him down. Hitmonkey attempts to return home to warn his tribe, but he actually arrives too late. They and the assassin they were harboring are all dead. In a fit of rage, Hitmonkey eliminates all the men sent to kill the assassin, hunting down the last one to escape and his commander and eliminating them as well. From there and out, he was sent down a path that would turn him into Hit Monkey. Number 7. Voiced by Fred Tadascori is an extremely experienced voice actor who has been actively working in the industry for over 20 years. He will be voicing the star of this series, Hitmonkey himself. Seriously though, Tadascori's list of credits is so long that I'm pretty sure if we just like ran them all across the screen during this point for you to read, we wouldn't even give you enough time to read them all. He has voiced characters in video games, animated series, cartoons, and English dubs for animes. If you are a hardcore Marvel fan, then you may know him best as the Hulk across the games and animated series that he's voiced in. Hulk is a common character for him to voice. He even voiced the Hulk when the character showed up in the Disney animated series Phineas and Ferb during a crossover episode. Also if you didn't know that happened, that happened. And if you love Phineas and Ferb, like me, you probably really loved that crossover episode. Number 6. Japanese Macaque Also known as Nihonzaru in Japanese. Hitmonkey is a Japanese macaque. The Japanese macaque is known for being the northernmost living of all non-human primate species. They are also sometimes referred to as snow monkeys for this same reason, living in places where snow covers the ground for multiple months of the year. Hence why in the trailer we see Hitmonkey and the fellow monkeys living in a snowy region, possibly in the mountains where they also have access to hot springs. In fact, Japanese macaques are known for enjoying hot springs together as a group and for rolling up snowballs for fun. It's true, it's a thing. Number 5. First Appearance Hitmonkey in the comics made his first appearance in his own digital series in issue number 1 of Hitmonkey, which was exclusively released on the Marvel Unlimited app. Yeah, Marvel Unlimited has been around since 2010, when this issue was first released. In fact, Marvel Unlimited first became a thing back in 2007. Isn't that crazy? It's been around for so long. Hitmonkey was a character created by Daniel Way and Dalibor Talajic, with the first cover being completed by Frank Cho. The follow-up limited series saw Hitmonkey take on one of Marvel's most deadly and accurate assets. Assassin's Bullseye. And straight out of the gate, Hitmonkey was giving him a run for his money. I almost said a run for his monkey money, but I don't think Bullseye has monkey money. <laughs> what is even monkey money? 
It's not a thing. Number 4, Lady Bullseye. While in the comics we know that Hitmonkey is faced off with the likes of a deadly villain and also hired assassin Bullseye, in the trailer for the Hulu original animated series about Hitmonkey, there appears another villain who could easily be standing in for him. That would be Lady Bullseye. The question is, how will she be introduced without her male counterpart? Lady Bullseye actually became an assassin herself because of Bullseye, who appeared to save her when she was just a child appeared to save her. Appeared being important there. Maki Matsumoto, as she was once known, was a prisoner of the Yakuza. They had despicable plans for her, but were stopped by Bullseye, who had a contract to basically kill her captors. The sight of him killing them in front of her eyes inspired Lady Bullseye to become a killer herself, and so she set down a path that would lead her to becoming the villain she's known for in the comics today. Number 3, Fat Cobra. Speaking of villains that we'll likely see Hitmonkey face off against in the Hulu animated series, another one that shows up in the trailer appears to be none other than Fat Cobra. Fat Cobra is an Iron Fist villain with a long and complex history. He's been an opera singer, a murderer, a villain, a martial arts teacher, the sidekick of Ulysses Bloodstone, fought in multiple wars. You get the idea, he's done it all. His main objective in life was to defeat Xiang Yao, and when he finally accomplished this, he became one of the seven immortal weapons, which is one of the feats that he's known for today. Fat Cobra's true given name still remains unknown to us, and in fact, much of his own history was forgotten to him. It took a biographer of his to remind him of his own lengthy backstory and all that had happened before. Unlike Lady Bullseye, Fat Cobra is not just a super skilled killer and martial artist, he also possesses chi based powers that grant him super strength, durability, longevity, healing, senses, and even the power to sometimes teleport. Number 2, Imaginary? Initially when Hitmonkey showed up in New York City causing problems as a hitman, or really a Hit monkey. Spider Man did not even believe that he was real. Deadpool tried to explain the legend of Hit Monkey to Spider Man, but Spider Man believed that Deadpool was really the one behind all the hits going on. Truly, though, he wasn't. He was telling the truth. And Spider Man found this out the hard way when the duo crossed paths with Hit Monkey himself. You see, shortly after his first appearance, Hit Monkey also popped up in Deadpool series in issue 19. I think that was actually only like a month or so after even his first issue came out for his own comic. It turns out he was in the Big Apple to take out a hit on Deadpool. Pool. Hitmonkey proved too tough for both Deadpool and Spider Man, even teamed up against him. In the end, Hitmonkey succeeded. Well, both of them technically ended up getting blown apart and hurt pretty badly. Though, of course, this is Deadpool, so Wade just ended up healing and then getting tossed in Rikers. Poor Deadpool. <laughs> Number one, Ladies Monkey? So apparently, hot ladies like monkeys? We find out in Deadpool issue 19 that Hitmonkey is quite the ladies monkey. It's established in canon that there is just something super irresistible about him to the ladies. He arrives at a nightclub in said issue with a bunch of hot ladies who apparently were brought there by Hitmonkey himself, much to the dismay of someone else who is desperately trying to get in without any success. In the same issue, we also then witness a woman leave the side of a man she's chatting with who appears to be about to take her home to go join the Hitmonkey group of dates. People like monkeys, I guess. Or people like hired assassins? Or both? I don't know. Do you like monkeys? Do you like hired assassins? Let me know in the comments. What are you most excited to see in the new Hitmonkey series? What other villains would you like to see Hitmonkey go up against? Who is your favorite comic book primate? Is it Hitmonkey? Will it be Hitmonkey after the series airs? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And speaking of comments, it's time to turn to some comments from one of our latest videos, Top 10 Most Powerful Children of Spider-Man. Sunstar responds, the Batman family is about peak humans, but it's cool to see Batman's skills applied to someone with enhanced strength like Cull. Yeah, I completely agree. Cull is bananas. I hope we see more of her. Hyperboy Blue asks, Duke Thomas? I know he's not an adopted kid, but still, powers literally make him OP for the job. I actually thought about putting Duke Thomas on that list, but I was like, I don't think he is adopted, and that was the only thing that prevented me. So, yes, I agree. Duke Thomas is OP. Killmonger509 comments, No human alive can take on Damien when he's a man. I would definitely believe that. Also, I don't know if you've read Batman issue 666 or Damien, Son of Batman, but if you haven't and you like Damien Wayne, Damien Wayne all grown up. He gets really dark. He kills people. He kind of, the world ends. It's crazy. <laughs> And that's all the time we have for comments today. Be sure to comment below for a chance to have your thoughts, questions, and feels responded to in a future video. This has been Top 10 Nerd, and I am your host, Amanda McKnight, reminding you, as always, to stay nerdy, YouTube.